I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston, joined by my husband, Dorian. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about the best jeans for your body type. But before we do that, if you are not following us on Instagram, you are missing out. We post daily outfit inspiration photos, including jeans, obviously, <laughs> that will make sure you look your best and you've got great outfit suggestions as well as tagged brands so you can pick up those items easily and quickly. So check it out if you aren't following already. And if you're still unsure at the end of this video what kind of jeans work for you or maybe there's a brand out there that you were thinking about but just had a question and you wanted to text us, well, definitely shoot us a text and we will be sure to answer your question and any of your style related questions. So before we get into it though, here's one thing you need to understand. Every single brand of jeans in the history of jeans has different sizing and measurements based on a whole host of variables that you just cannot account for. So literally, regardless of your height, your stature, whether you're big, thin, tall, short, you're going to have to do a little bit of work to determine the best jeans for you. So no matter your body type, there are four specific characteristics or things you need to look out for in regard to how your jeans fit in order to find the best jeans for you possible. First is the rise of your jeans. So this is from the bottom of the crotch all the way up to the top of your waistband. Now there are three types of rises, low, mid, and high rise. And second is the color, which is also referred to as the wash of the jean. And next is the cut. So that's gonna be how your pants are gonna fit in the thighs and calf and ankle region. Now. There are a couple different types of cuts going from, we'll just go from the tightest all the way to the loosest. So there's skinny, slim, for the most part, it'll be straight fit, relaxed, loose, and those are generally your types of fits that you're gonna see out there. Every brand kind of slight variations on those words, but that's pretty much how it goes. And lastly, you wanna look out for the break of your jeans. So that's gonna be how much extra material is gonna be around your ankles when you have your shoes on. Now, there are a couple different types of breaks. There is a no break, which is basically where your jeans just touch the top of your shoe. Then there is a slight break, so it's gonna touch the top of your shoe a little bit more where it creates a little divot. And then there is a full break, a little more generous room. And then there is stacking, which is just a ton of material bunched at the ankle. All right, so let's talk about the rise of your jeans. So with this type of body type, I mean, you could pretty much get away with anything. However, I would say categorically, a mid-rise jean is what's really gonna help keep your lower half in proportion and balanced with your upper half. Now, if you got a shorter torso, then definitely you can go with a low rise jean to help kind of elongate it a little bit more. And if you've got a longer torso and shorter legs, you can go with a high rise pant. But again, mid is gonna look good on everybody. So that's kind of the default you should go for. Now, as far as the color of your jeans goes, you could pretty much wear anything you'd like. I mean, you can go like super light wash. White. You can wear white, white denim, yeah. Light wash, all the way to a dark wash or black color. It really doesn't matter. You just wanna avoid anything with fading, especially in the thigh region because that's gonna make your legs look even thinner than they are. So moving on to the fit or the cut of your jeans, categorically, you need to avoid anything on the extremes. So a super skinny fit is going to make you ding, 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 look skinnier than you are. <laughs> and a relaxed or loose fit is also gonna make you look really thin. So you wanna stick with a slim fit. Now, again, as we talked about on the top of this video, what slim means is entirely different based on the brand. So here's a couple measurements to take that will ensure your pants will fit you properly no matter what the brand is. You wanna be able to pinch one to two inches of fabric on either side of your thigh, as well as pinch one to two inches of extra fabric on either side of your calves. And as far as the ankle or leg opening goes, you want to be able to pinch two, right around two inches, I would say, on either side of your ankle. So all of this will ensure that no matter the brand, your jeans will fit properly. And as far as the break of your pants is concerned, you want to stick to a slight break almost across the board. But if you're a shorter guy, then you can go with a no break look and that will ensure that your legs look as long as possible. But for most guys average, even if you're tall and slim, you wanna go with a slight break no matter what. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.